Fast Foot is a pretty cool product. It's again speeds up construction. Um, Fast Foot is a heavyweight concrete plastic that does a couple things. It uh, encases the concrete footer. It speeds up construction by allowing us to, instead of completely uh, forming up that footer, we can put the Fast Foot inside. Uh, we can. Uh, connect the fast foot, the plastic, stapling it to the 2x4 and then get our elevation adjustment on the 2x4 itself, not having to worry about um, completely forming up to the ground all of our footer. So it's sped up construction. Fast foot can also be attached directly to ICF uh, block and adjusted directly um, with a plastic foot that's adjusted up and down with the drill and you can pour the wall and the footer in one pour. Uh, it's a pretty cool product. It's um, also a, um, uh, a vapor barrier that encases the footing to allow or to pre prevent any weeping of moisture through the footing and into the wall uh, that could cause dampness in your basement and um, whatever, and more um, water getting into your slab, etc. Insulated concrete forms. We absolutely love the insulated concrete forms, and on this building we used Fox Block, a great company, and um, we believe they had for what we needed the best block for the best price. Uh, it's a great block. We had almost no blowouts um, that were due to the, f the form. We actually had a couple forms that lifted at the top of the block um, that was easily overcome by uh, double double bracing those ink there's interior clips in the fast foot or in that instead of concrete form block. And uh, by double clipping that top block, um, we prevented that. We also on the next build after this one. Uh, did a horizontal um, uh, two by four that went all the way around that top block to prevent any lifting. So we only had a couple of the forms lift, um, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't real a real problem. But we did have a couple of those forms left on the top. The cool thing about insulated concrete forms is that they were recently ACI tested and. Um, they have been proven to have an R50 performance factor. Uh, in comparison to two by six walls, your standard construction walls are roughly an R23 due to the thermal bridging through the wood and into the building. So in order to, to uh, achieve an R50 with a two by six uh, building, you would have to basically wrap the building twice in uh, three inch foam that was uh, you know, EPS foam, standard EPS foam of an R11. So um, R50 would be pretty tough, pretty expensive to get at a two by six. So we're getting a, a better building, a better box, I should say, more energy efficient, and uh, it's not that much more than two by six standard construction. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than trying to get an R50 wall out of two by six. Uh, the other benefit was it is fast. So we were able to pour these walls in uh, three hours, we poured um, basically, I think it was 82 yards, don't quote me on that, it was a lot of concrete. Um, we poured the walls all the way around the outside of this uh, 7,500 square foot um, building, I should say 6,000 square foot um, second floor envelope, 1,500 feet in the basement, but we poured the main office walls in about three and a half, four hours.